Hello friends, in this particular session we will discuss about OOPS concept. If you are a student or a professional and starts to learn any programming language like Java or C Sharp, there is always a first chapter as a object oriented programming. You and even I always bore with this chapter, but this is the most important pillar to learn any programming language. You can get the following answers from this video. You will get the answers of these topics. What is OOPS? Why it is so important? Why each programming language has a first chapter as OOP? In professional IT industry, how object oriented programming are so useful? And last, we will discuss which are the OOPS concept. Now, we will first discuss about what is object oriented programming. The main paradigm of object oriented programming is class and object. Now, what is class and what is object? We will discuss this in our next video tutorials. It has a four pillars abstraction, encapsulation, inheritance, and polymorphism. Now, there is a question in your mind that why to learn object oriented programming? Why it is so important? In each exam, why the why always this question is asked what is object oriented programming with an example now i will give a simple answer of a complicated question why ops are very important by using object oriented programming we can reuse we can increase a reusability of a code by what do you mean by reusability of a code this will understood by you while you are working in a professional IT industry. Suppose there is a code like uh, 4000 or 5000 lines and there are many methods which are commonly accessed to every class. At that time these concepts are very useful to you. Clear? Now we will discuss our next question that why OOPS is a, always a first chapter for a, any programming language. We will merge this question with another question that is why professional IT industry use OOPS concept. Suppose you are a working in professional IT company and the structure is always based on OOPS concept. If there is a project in which 10 to 15 members are working, suppose in that 10 members are working on a, some of the portion of a project and another 5 members are working on a another portion of a project when a whole project is clubbed together at that time you can realize the beauty of oops for an example in 15 member each is uh, working on a different class and creating different method and there are some common methods which are commonly accessed by a common class and we are creating object of it and use those methods Suppose you feel bored by this answer, but you, you can realize it when you are working in an IT industry. Clear? Now, we will discuss various OOPS concepts in detail. Uh, the concepts are encapsulation, abstraction, inheritance and polymorphism. I will upload these OOPS uh, concepts in detail in our next video tutorial series. Thank you so much for watching my video. Uh, if you have any doubt about OOPS concept you can mail me at dhruvinsha16 at gmail.com and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.